meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Ah, uh, we've got ourselves a wickedly windy day out there. The wind's 15 to 25 miles an hour. Yes, it's cold. It could be colder. And oh, by the way, it's going to get colder <laughs> this weekend. We've got a shot of Arctic air, a blast, if you will, uh, that is going to give us the coldest temperatures we've seen in over two winters. So we're talking about temperatures that will be in single digits Perhaps on Sunday, and I think some locations will be on a Monday too. So back to back mornings, single digits, wind chills below zero. I'm not looking forward to it. But you know what? It's February, two thirds of the way through winter. As we take a look outside right now, our Zemer Funeral Home camera on top of Fifth Third Bank, looking at a barge rounded the bend off in the distance there as it heads down river. A superior ag camera showing plenty of traffic out there. It's lunchtime, no surprise there on the east side of town and also heading into Newburgh. And then our Heads Construction Tower Cam shot. A little bit of traffic on 41. It's a jittery view in the backyard with the wind shaking the tower cam and also shaking uh, the camera downtown Owensboro. Our Kincaid camera that's on top of the Hampton Inn. Right now, 35 degrees, so the temperature up two ticks since daybreak. That's it. North-northwest wind at 12 miles an hour. So it's getting that 10 to 20 mile prior range across much of the tri-state. Definitely adding a chill. 31 Lagodi, 31 in Jasper. Those are the only two locations below freezing but pr plenty of places just barely above freezing. Right at 32 Princeton, right at 32 Santa Claus and French Lake, 35 in Owensboro, 35 in Greenville, and 36 in Madisonville. No sense of doing a temperature run. There's not much of a run going on uh, from 31 to 36, and that's it. Wind speed wise, 10 to 20, uh, 19 miles an hour uh, Morgan Field, 18 miles an hour Dixon, 16 in Carmont. And looking to the east, 15 Santa Claus, 14 in Tell City, 21 mile prior wind gusts right now at the airport in Owensboro with a feels like temperature of 20. Four degrees. It uh, feels like 25 in Calhoun for Mama, and it feels like 24 also in Carmi in Princeton. Check out the snow we had this morning. Now, in some places, not so impressive, but it looked pretty impressive at Lake Helmrich. That is right there on the Pike Dubois County line. And Glenda McLean got the shot. In. She goes, Ron, I didn't want to go out and measure it. It was too cold. I don't blame you, Glenda. <laughs> you can see the lake off in the distance here, and I love how the snow, that wet snow, clings to the branches of the tree. Just a great shot right there. Thank you, Glenda, for sending that picture my way. More snow creations. Oh, the Caraco kids were back at it. I'll show that maybe tomorrow. But here's it. Rita Aders got this shot. Snow people right there. Check out the knobby knees off all those. And is that not bedhead or what? Uh, that is great. Rita, thank you so much. Rita Hales from uh, Bristow in Perry County. Good looking shoes, though. I like those, definitely. <laughs> oh, man. Just a little bit of snow. See, we're so starved for snow. We will do whatever it takes. With what little we get, we make little snow people with knobby knees. Anyway, live first warning to the radar is quiet. We do still see some snow to our east and cutting across central parts of Kentucky and eastern Kentucky, too. So if you're traveling in that direction, you're going to run across a little snow. Starting to see some breaks in the clouds in parts of uh, southern Illinois. Good to see that. I do think we're going to be seeing some sunshine today. We've already seen a little bit, but the better chance for seeing a little bit more than a little bit uh, will be in southern Illinois, uh, west of the Wabash. We're starting to see it thin out just a little bit too in parts of western Kentucky to the west. Anyway, future trackers indicating too much sunshine this afternoon. I don't think we're going to see quite that much. We are going to see uh, more clouds than not, especially to the east, but we'll get a better dose of sunshine tomorrow. Mix of sun and clouds for our Tuesday. And of course, tomorrow is Groundhog Day. And the groundhog, if he doesn't see a shadow, which we don't want him to do, that means uh, it's going to be an early spring. If he does see a shadow, he runs back into his hole. And of course, that means six more weeks of winter. Hi today on this first day of February uh, is in the mid 30s. I'm calling it 36 here in Evansville for a high. So really not much movement at all on the thermometer. Plenty of movement on the anemometer or the wind gauge. You saw that earlier. Uh, it's going to be whipping that wind gauge around. Winds from the northwest at 15 to 25 miles an hour. For old Phil and the rest of the groundhogs, I'm thinking you're not going to see your shadow first thing in the morning. Early spring, 38 degrees. It's not going to feel like an early spring though this weekend. After getting a cold front moving through on Thursday, we get up to close to 50 degrees before that front hits and a lot of wind out there. The temperature drops into the 30s for highs. That's Sunday high. That's not a typo. 21 for a high. Morning low. In some places, Angie, will be in single digits, and I think we will be, all be in single digits on Monday morning, too, as we get the coldest air we've seen in a couple of winters come rumbling on through. Make soup. Make <laughs> lots of soup. Oh, I've yes. been making it up. Plenty more to make. Look at that beautiful oh, look red that. horizon there. That was Saturday night. Uh, Dana Birch got that shot here in the Tri-State. And, of course, most of the weekend was pretty gloomy and gray. Yeah, right. At least on Saturday morning, we had a little strip of color in the sky. Thank Kevin. <laughs> we'll, yeah, be really. back. we'll be back with Charlie Stalker right after this.